Well, ain't been on in a while. Ain't done a video. Been busy. Work. Things going on around here. Trying to get ready for, believe it or not, winter. Yeah, I know it's only May. It is May. I can't remember. 29th, maybe. Anyway, it's Saturday before the 1st, which is Monday. Behind on the firewood. Ain't gonna have a lot this year to sell. We got two loads then sold out of that. They're gone. Got the hardwood to do and all this softwood mix to get. That's still to cut up. Cut some more of that off. The Yoda's done as far as we can take it. Blowed hydraulic line on the bigger tractor, the big little tractor. See, I just unhooked it. And the loader will still work. John Deere, if you ever see this, this deal here, right here, that don't work. <laughs> Got the old Kelly back going. Had to replace five more lines. Got... The jack is leaking. You cannot get these jacks. You can't even get rebuild kits for them. Got a bunch of that. Went at it, got cleaned up. Uh, the trailer's here because yesterday I took nine logs to the mill to be sawed for me. And one inch lumber. Uh, some poplar and some uh, hard maple. Everybody says, poplar, what are you selling poplar in the lumber for? It'll just rot out. No, wrong. You keep poplar dry, it'll be here for a long, long time. We got the compost pile is growing. <laughs> Which got all the spraying. Sprayed all this grass out here that I don't like having. All this in front of the buildings, the upper part of the banks, the drainage behind the house. Plant it, a little bit of stuff, some corn, some beans, peas, cabbage, potatoes, whatnot. Ain't been a week, been just a little over a week. You can see potatoes ain't it started coming. They ain't been in the ground long. Uh, peas here, if it'll focus. Down here is cabbage and four little cherry tomato plants. Then we got five rows of corn and beans. Super sweet corn. Sprayed around all the flower boxes, flower beds, got all that. Sprayed around the fence lines today. Mowed last night. You know, it didn't take long. This bed is full of weeds, but I'm okay with it. Did plant a purple rhododendron to replace the cherry tree that was there that the goats we had took out. Got some wisteria planted around that. And that beautiful peony you see was my grandmother's. We brought it from her house. Got all new fence boards up on the raggedy old fence just for looks. And hold the power outlet in case we ever need it. Blueberries. Got some on that one. Rose of Sharon. Look at here. Look at this one. Look at those. 
and I mean these plants are nice hoping they will do very well got to cut a little bit of this back but it's on the neighbor's property this one is absolutely look at that load it up and I found there's a trick to fruit trees apple pear peach even these blueberries they need iron see that one's even got pretty good deal they need iron as I was saying look at this this is beautiful just heavy blooms just flowing everywhere the camera makes it look more red but it's actually a dark purple or a dark pink the corn stalk flower is now three Dylan coming home that bush is doing good. I will buy no more rhubarb from anywhere unless it is the old timey. That is not worth having. Got the pool up, the temporary pool. We've made our minds up. We're just going to buy a good pool and have it put in. Then I may do some videos on building the deck around it. Because everybody wants a deck around it. We'll do above ground because this is hard rock farming. Little roses bloomed out. Frost got these. But these... You look, they started out as one, and you can see all the little shoot-offs coming off the foxglove. This rose, you can see it was a purple. And they about bloomed out this time. Got all that. Water's clear, thank goodness. Haven't run the filter on it yet. Probably will do that tomorrow. Need to weed the asparagus. But this is asparagus. If you've never seen it, that's what it looks like. And it takes two or three years before you can harvest. The hosta beds got sprayed. My hostas. I gotta get in here and weed. The little rows I have cut off and cut off and cut off trying to kill out and just don't want to die. Because <laughs> it's a climbing rose. I hate climbing roses. And then we got this box glove here. And then this rose is a beautiful red color. Lilies. Lily. And then old big boy. Over here, Lily. Yeah. Got a bunch of the brush cleaned up here. Got a bunch more dead trees out there. Cut the bank off between the roads. Got everything cut off behind the house up there and then piles. Getting ready to clear out and make a house seat back in here. That way if one of the kids want to put a home there, they can. If not, I'll have it as a rental property. Because to be honest with you, I don't want to work for somebody else until they put me in a casket. I do enough of that. If you want to know about the silt fence and the fence that's up around the garden, that's to help deter, not keep out, but just deter chickens and groundhogs and rabbits, and which we ain't got many of. It's actually getting dark. It's like 8.30 at night. The horse is out today. She had a ball. But yeah, going out too. 
Neighbors are burning. Here's some playing basketball. Dog barking, of course. One of my little goobers is out. All the little babies are out on the porch. And we have a bunch of those, which is really annoying. But there's one of the little stinkers right there. And there's Miss Baya. Miss Baya. And there comes one eye willy. Oh, she can get that eye shut. And there's little buddy walking off, hiding Nala behind him. Nala has four kittens of her own I found today. Astrid. Parker. Who's back there? That's Miss Duchess. And then Stalker, the black cat. This is Theodore. And those are my goober boys. Runt and Goober, my little stooges. They are Nin's children, and they are our cat Nin. They are her kids, ain't no doubt. Dusty's in his doghouse. My little fox dog. And then... Over here by my pack <laughs> is the herd. All piled up, taking a snooze because they've been outside all day, thankfully. <laughs> Not a care in the world. One day is to be a cat. Oh, got trash to burn. Yes, I burn my garbage. But. Just a little update. We are going to start doing some videos. Uh, got some coming up. Probably do some when we side the rest of the hay law. It's almost time for hay. I'm hoping in the next two weeks they'll start cutting, bailing. We can get some hay video. If it's nothing more than us hauling and putting up with our homemade Oh, conveyor out there. My other house. That's where my mom lives. I let her move in up there. Because I honestly don't like it up there. I'd rather be down here. Stepson's car, wife's car. Need to take the satellite dish. Right there. Get rid of that thing. Because we got rid of that mess. That stuff's too expensive, y'all. Gonna go in here and the dead trees I cut. Gonna get them cut up. And what can be firewood worked up in firewood. What can't piled up in my pile. On somewhere. There's water runs there in the winter and the wet season. Anytime it rains heavy, there's water runs. Comes down this ditch behind Dusty's dog house. Goes on down behind the house. I believe, honestly, I'm just going to dig a pond out for the horse right there. And whatever else may be coming. I don't want to give too much away. But come fall, which is a ways off. The good Lord's willing. Nothing major happens. We're going to grow the farm a little bit. Yeah, I know I'm missing some boards on the fence, but the tree took them out. And no, I didn't cut it. <laughs> it got blowed over. We've had some short but strong storms. A lot of rain. Uh, the way I'm working now, you know, I'm leaving here. Between 5 and 5.30 in the morning, and I'm not getting home till between 6.30 and 7 at night, so it's kind of hard to make a video. I didn't think about it today. See my burning bush right there. That's a burning bush. These on the bank right here, these scraggly looking things are Rosa Sharon's. Another little peony that's at dark green at the bottom. But, yeah, just a little update video. Might do one tomorrow, depending on what we're doing. 
probably have one on cleaning carburetor on a steel uh, hedger, hedge trimmer. I'm gonna have some work on two color engines, Lord willing. And on a generac generator, I've got to clean the fuel system on it. And get a battery for it because it is electric start. So I have to do some trading on that. Done some trading on trading, gonna trade some work on a tractor for a Ford uh, sickle bar mower. And I get my choice of what length bar I want. Now I'm going with the seven foot because my little old tractor won't handle the nine, I don't think. And it's a shot in the dark that it'll even handle the mower itself. But we're going to try it because it's a, you know, a day's work for a $1,200 mower for here. And it's hard to pass it up. So hopefully that's going to work out. The yellow flowers on the bank over behind the car. Let me zoom them up here, see. All that's got to get cut. Except for what's some of these up on top. Because they're flowering trees. There's some big oaks back in there. We'll probably record cutting those. Working them up. Got a new winch for the truck. On a receiver mount. So probably trying to pick up either a ranch hand bumper. Or a front mount receiver. I won't go here and get my cup. But, yeah, just an update on what we've been up to and what's going on. It's not everything, but it's some. Um, yellow cat down there. But, at least the grass is mowed. The sky is blue. The water's running. The good Lord let me get up on this side. So, until next time, keep it safe, keep it real. We'll be nice to each other. Try to do something for somebody. I went and dug out for a pool today from one of my neighbors. Didn't charge him a dime, but did make some because he would not let me leave without taking something for doing it. So, that's where I blowed the hydraulic line on the loader bucket. <laughs> So there's a few hundred dollars going to have to be spent again. But that comes with farming and logging and trying to build up something. We are in the Appalachian Mountains. As you can tell, ain't nothing but mountains around here. And I love it. So until next time. Be nice, be safe, try to keep your head above water, and always remember, better things will be coming. Just put a little faith in the Lord and don't look back. See y'all.